compute thermal stresses in this sample holder. Sample holder is fixed at this end and a sample at 500 degrees centigrade is placed at this surface. First of all, open this sample holder in SOLIDWORKS and start simulation, click on new study and select thermal, check it ok. Now assign material that is aluminium. Assign temperature loads. Click on temperature, set units to centigrade, select this surface, right here 500 degree centigrade, ok. Then again from load assign temperature, select this surface, change units to centigrade and 25 degree centigrade is here. Now we will create mesh. Go to mesh and from mesh parameters resize mesh. Okay. Wait until mesh complete. So mesh has been created now. Run your thermal simulation study now and wait until solution converge. Our simulation study completed now. Right click on thermal and from result type and use probe to see temperature at different surface. Ok, first of all we will change units into centigrade and display options in decimals. Select floating from this option. Now again we will use probe, temperature probe to see temperature at different locations of this sample holder. Click on any point on this sample holder you can see temperature values at different locations. You can see how temperature is increasing as we move near sample. Okay, now we will link this thermal simulation study with static. Start a static study now. Assign again aluminium alloy as material. From properties, link this thermal study. To structure analysis. From fixture, select fixed geometry option and select this surface. Again, create mesh, define mesh element size that is 2 mm. Ok, wait until mesh completed. Our mesh has been generated now. Run this structure simulation study and wait until solution converge. Our solution converge now. So we can evaluate stresses, go stress edit definitions, and from here option use mega pascal and from this option display to floating you can see that the maximum st stress is 128 that is the stress at uh, corners we can neglect that stress actual stress occurs except to sharp corners you can see stress uh, is 20 megapascal near the spoke if we neglect the stress concentration or stress singularity, 
while the yield strength of aluminum is more than the occurred stress. So this is the thermal induced stresses that are due to, due to increase in temperature. Similarly, we can evaluate the formations due to temperature loads in this sample holder. You can see maximum deformation occur in X direction that is about 0.6 mm. I hope this tutorial will be helpful to learn how to carry a thermal induced stress simulation. Please subscribe Solidbox Simulation channel and also share and if you have any query please also give us a comment. Thank you for watching Solidbox Simulation tutorials. Nice to meet you next tutorial. Thank you. Bye bye.